Well, that is correct. Uh, and of course, uh, the weakness started really when uh, the tapering talk uh, took place in May uh, by Mr. Bernanke. And of course, as we know, uh, tapering is pretty much off the table for this year. And uh, it probably remains a 2014 story, if anything. And we have seen a 90% correlation between the Fed's balance sheet and equity prices in the US and of course that spills over into emerging markets as well. So I think for now the trend remains up because we don't see any uh, tapering on the horizon, uh, at least not for this year. Exactly. Uh, again, uh, you can look at anything. You can look at earnings, you can lo look at valuations, you can look at uh, GDP growth or whatever. The fact remains that uh, markets have been liquidity driven for the past few years. And all you need to know is what the central banks of the world are up to, uh, notably the Federal Reserve. And, you know, with tapering probably not taking place before maybe March next year, uh, we think that uh, the liquidity-driven uh, bull market will continue. It's actually quite amazing to see that uh, emerging markets have bounced back so strongly. And if you look at the U.S. market, you see how little it had actually corrected. And it's still up uh, almost 20% this year. So I think that is probably uh, going to continue despite what everybody else talks about uh, uh, deteriorating or slow fundamentals. Well, given the, the fundamentals in India, uh, you know, you would not expect the index to be where it is now. But again, it's a liquidity-driven rally, uh, a bull market that clearly climbs a wall of worry. And uh, we think that the rupee has now rebounded strongly. Maybe there's going to be a bit of a pullback there, but the, mate, the worst might well be over, at least for now, unless uh, you, you see a change in the interest rate environment. Let's say in the United States, for instance, that long-term rates are starting to rise in, in, in earnest, which again, we don't really see for the next uh, four to five months, as long as the Fed is on, a, on an expansionary course. So India, like any other emerging markets, the trend for now uh, remains uh, on the upside. Well, again, uh, if, if you have a short, uh, let's say a time horizon of about three months, I think uh, one could probably play a rally that will take place into year end. Uh, we'll see what happens next year in terms of Fed policy and other cent central banks. But I think for now, between now and year end, we should see a relatively benign environment for equity markets. And that, of course, would include India as well.